Hello. In this lesson, uh, we will see how to find the x-intercept and the y-intercept of a straight line and how to use them to sketch, how, how to use them to sketch um, a given line. First thing is um, um, the x-intercept is where your line crosses the x-axis and the y-intercept is where your line crosses the y-axis. So I've got a straight line here. As you can see, it crosses the y-axis at 4. So the y-intercept is 4. And also this line crosses the x-axis at minus 2. So the x-intercept is minus 2. Okay, um, that is the definition of uh, x and y-intercept. Basically, where your line um, crosses either of the two axes. Now, but how to find them? To find the x-intercept, you need to put y equal to 0 in the equation and solve the resulting equation to find the x-intercept. Similarly, to find the y-intercept, let the value of x be zero in the equation, then solve the resulting equation to find the y value. That y value will be your y intercept. All right, let's uh, look at a couple of examples. Example one, find the y intercept for the line below. So I've got the equation of this line. They want me to find its y-intercept. As you remember what we said, to find the y-intercept in the equation, let x be 0. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to replace x with 0 in this equation. But remember, there is a times between 3 and x. I need to put back that times and then put 0 here. So then if I rewrite this equation, I'm going to have y equals to 3. That um, hidden times and x is going to be 0, then plus 4. So that gives me 3 times 0, which is 0 plus 4. So y equals to 0 plus 4. Now 0 plus 4 is 4. So y equals to 4. That is the y-intercept. That is the y-intercept. If you, your equation has been given in this form, like y equals to a number times x plus or minus another number, that number is going to be your y-intercept. As you can see, that's 4, and here we ended up with y-intercept as well. That is how you can check your work. Let's look at another example, this time to find the x-intercept. Find the x-intercept for the line y equal to 2x minus 6. Okay, we are finding the x-intercept. This time, y needs to be 0. So in this equation, I'm going to replace y with 0. So I get 0 equals to 2x minus 6. So this is the same equation as that, only replaced y with 0. Now, we need to solve this equation to find the value of x. So I write the equation here again, 0 equal to 2x minus 6. Your first step is not to worry about 2x, but get rid of this number. 
by doing the opposite thing. So here you have minus 6. The opposite of that is plus 6. So this is the left hand side of my equation. This is the right hand side of my equation. I got to do the same thing to both sides. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of this minus 6. To do that, I do the opposite operation, which is plus 6. But if I do to the right-hand side, I got to do the same to the left-hand side, which is plus and 6. All right, I get a new equation now. 0 plus 6 is 6, then equals. Now this minus 6 plus 6, they cancel each other out. You end up only with. 2x, so you have 2x. Now, um, what we need to do, we need to divide both sides by 2. Because x has been times by 2, you've got to do the opposite thing, which is dividing by 2. So divide both sides by 2. And this side divided by 2 as, long, as well as the right side. Now, 2x divided by 2 will get rid of this 2. You end up with x only. And 6 divided by 2 is 3. So 3 equal to x or x equal to 3. And that is our x intercept. Another example, <clears throat> find x and y intercept for the line 2x plus 6y equal to 12 and graph the line. There is a difference between this question and the previous ones. In the previous ones, you had y equal to something, y equal to something. Here, it's not like that. Here you have x times a number plus 6 times a number equal uh, 6 times, uh, uh, sorry, uh, x times a number plus y times a number equal to a number. So in other words, the shape of this equation is different from the shape of this equation. Here is y on the left hand side and it's on its own, but here both x and y are on the left hand side. And on the right hand side you have only a number. Let's see how we can find the x and the y intercept here. The rule is the same. To find the x intercept you got to put y equal to 0. So this y I'm going to replace it with 0. So I write the whole equation with this hidden times uh, put back and replace y with 0. So then I'm going to have 2x plus 6 now times y which is 0 equal to 12. 6 times 0 is 0. So it becomes 2x plus 0. 2x plus 0 equal to 12. Equal to 12. And 2x plus 0 is just 2x. So 2x equal to 12. Now x has been times by 2, we got to do the opposite thing by dividing by 2. So 2x equal to 12, I wrote the equation here. This is the same equation we had here. Now divide both sides by 2 to get rid of this um, 2, which is times by x. Opposite of timesing is dividing. So divide by 2, that will give you x, and 12 divided by 2 give you 6. So x equal to 6. That is my x-intercept. Let's find the y-intercept. To find the y-intercept, you need this time to let x equal to 0. All right, that's the equation. I'm uh, letting x equal to 0, but I got to put that hidden times. So that becomes 2 times 0 plus 6y equal to 12. Again, 2 times 0 is just 0, 0 plus 6y, and 0 plus anything is itself, so I guess 6y equal to 12. Now, y has been times by 6. I got to undo it by dividing by 6, but I got to do it to both sides. So 6y divided by 6, that 6 is cancelled out, you end up with y, and 12 divided by 6 is 2. So your y-intercept is 2. Now we find both the y-intercept and the x-intercept. x-intercept is 6, y-intercept is 2. The question asks us to graph the line. With this information, we can graph the line. So y-intercept is 6. Sorry, the x-intercept is 6. 
So that is my x, and that's my x-intercept at that point. So my line crosses the x-axis here. So that is a point on my line. Also, my y-intercept was 2. So my line crosses the y-axis at 2. Now I have two points on the line, this point and this point. I connect them together and extend it to get this straight line. That is the answer to uh, this question. So if I want to sketch this line, I got to go through these procedures, find the x-intercept, the y-intercept, show the x-intercept on the Cartesian plane, which was 6, and show the y-intercept on the Cartesian plane, which is 2. You can mark them and then connect them together and extend. That will be your um, the graph of the line that they have given you. And that's all we have for this lesson. Uh, thank you for your attention.